Hello everybody, Tuver4 here, and welcome back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. A couple things I want to start with. One, I'm using a new mic. Secondly, I can't hear it. So maybe you can notice a difference in my voice, maybe, hopefully, a better quality level. So, we're just gonna go with it. Uh, today we are doing the Brass Forest, but we are here for a very, very special, important... A very, very special, important reason. Um... We are looking for someone in particular to get these... Yeah, maybe. That would be nice. Arneal Gaines? Is that what his name is? I don't remember. Um, also, I can't hear myself. Usually when I record, I can hear my voice playing back. Um, but this mic has a direct USB interface, and it's a Blue Yeti. But... Um, I need to get a mixer. I have a mixer, but it's really fucking big. So I want a smaller mixer. And so I can mix it. All right, so we are looking for the restoration specialist. I know it's a woman and I know she's like, you think restoration's a valid school, right? That's pretty much all I know. Well, she's not gonna be on those slabs. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Where are you? This is her, right? Restoration is a perfect yep, this is her. Magic. Why would anyone bother to study stars? Well, oh no. Ah. So curious, talk to Nelikar. That's not what I wanted. Her. What do you have for sale? Take a look. What I need is a very particular thing. Found it. <laughs> That's right, guys. It is time for us to up this fucking game. Until next time. You ready for this shit? After a very long, 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 long... But be careful. Fucking... What's her deal? Which one of these is restoration? Is it this one? Oh, no, it's this one. Oh, wait, shit. Unfavorite. Haha. -ha. Not my favorite over here. And then it's three to heal. Oh, baby. Wait. Fuck. No, it's three to heal. Is it five to heal, three to kill? I don't know. But guess what, boys? Here we go. Oh, God. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Bam! Oh. Fuck to the yes. Okay. And we have the visor. That's gonna fuck us up. Alright. So guess where we're going, guys? The brass of forest. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. I think there's one more stop I want to make. But I don't expect you guys to sit here while I make this stop. Um... So I'm just going to be back after... I will see you guys in the Brass Forest. Okay, here we are. Are you ready for my special surprise? It's nice. It'll lighten the mood. That's right, it's the left eye of Cold Harbor. A wonderfully useless, useful thing that acts as a light. 
Um, I want that to be a surprise, so I'm going to cut out some parts. Uh, things I mentioned is that, sorry about episodes, I'll be making more. I'm on a new schedule at work, which will allow me to do more of this. So, without further ado, we've got the visor. We killed Jalal. Um, and we've got the staff, and we got the eye, so that we can see shit. Um, we're pretty much golden. Look at how much nicer everything is. It's so bright. I can see, actually, what's in front of me without being like, oh, I don't know. Like, ooh, I wonder where I go. Gee, how about the obvious direction? I will admit, this next branch off, not so obvious. So, you know. All right. Oh. But seriously, it's got to be said, the left eye of Cold Harbor really, really makes a difference. Alright. Next goal is to just not fall. I like to do these in... Or at least I like to try to do them in one sitting. What?! Okay. I'm calling bullshit. I fell through the tree. I wasn't supposed to fall through the tree. God damn it. Now we gotta get back up there. I'm gonna quick save right there. All right, here we go. All right, so let's not fall. Good. Easy does it, slow and steady wins the race, right? Wait, this is something else entirely. Look at that, oh my God. The mystery deepens, holy shit. All right, let's go this way then, over to that uh, weird mystical gap. So we can see what the shit to do about it. Up, 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 up. And then we'll go back and we'll investigate that other door. Oof. All right, so there's the thing, door's locked. Let's make our way over to it, get our ability. Temporal, no. There it is, Lolian ping. Activate! Aha! Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the look of this. Let's put that on four. Oh, yep. Just as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, fuck you! Why was that a thing that I did? It's like, yeah, it's activated, it's fine. Oh, the main foyer key! Okay, so... <sighs> Big dragon doggos have the key. Got it. That's the key to the main foyer. Marvelous. Let us... Let us... Huh, go and check the other door we can get to. So yeah, we did in fact need the uh, visor to make it through this dungeon, which I remember going to get it thinking, do I actually need this? Lo and behold, I do. So there you go. All right, here we go. I picked up Mario Maker for the 3DS. My biggest complaint about the Wii U version is that I couldn't take it with me. Hey! Ah. Fucking dick. I think I might just be a little bit stronger too. Uh, all right. Into the Steel Hollow. All right. This definitely looks like something's gonna jump out at me. Hmm. 
Uh, this makes me a bit nervous. What's this? The winding column. Okay. So I know this game draws inspiration from uh, Zelda dungeons. And that's great and all. Ah, ah, got the key, bitch. And that's great and all. It really is. But, and here's my main complaint, if you're going to draw inspiration from Zelda, and I know you couldn't really do much, there needs to be a mini-map. Like, this is great, except not fucking really. I'm not saying a mini-map is a requirement, I'm just saying it makes a little bit of a difference. Fuck. Okay. 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 Uh, watch the store be locked. Ah, the Western Catacombs. That's where I want to go. To the catacombs. Great. I knew you fucking slimy bastards would be in here. Ah! Skeleton doggo! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. 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 Fuck you! You fell into the lava. Oh shit, the skeleton doggo fell. I really hope he didn't have a key. Oh no, root maze key. Fantastic. Alright. I don't like them. They're creepy looking and they're cool, but... They're creepy looking and <laughs> that's kind of the main point here. Oh, fuck that. Okay. 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 All right. Whew. Okay, let's go into the winding tunnels. Jesus, branch. You know, I just hit into that. I was like, I wonder if I can go into this. If you consider that the Dragonborn is actually, you know, character, he like walks and just dunk, hits his head and is like, nope. Uh huh. Interesting. Methinks we're going to get a new item in this dungeon. Looks to be a wind blowy thing of sorts. You know what I want though? I want that cutting sphere. That thing's awesome looking. The one that that guy carries around. He's like their leader, he's an asshole. It's not Lovatos. You know, we teleported away and he's like, hey, I need you right fucking now. And he just comes and kidnaps you. And it's like, dude, what the shit? You didn't consider that maybe I was in the middle of something? And I know that door's over there is locked too. So at this point there's not a lot of options. We have to go up. Which means we have to head back this way. Because this will already put us up, you know? So we're going to go from there. And we do have the key to the root maze. So let's keep that in mind. I hope that wasn't the door on the, the other side of the foyer is the root maze. Because, well, I clearly have missed it. Alright. Easy does it, Captain. This reminds me of backtracking. And you know what backtracking always reminds me of? Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door Chapter 4. Anyone who knows exactly what I'm talking about, you, you don't even have to like... It's not even an argument, I think. I think if anyone's played Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door to its continue, to its, you know, to its finish, they are very familiar with uh, Chapter 4. Uh, but for those of you that aren't, you basically have to backtrack back and forth through this really, like, long... It takes, like, five minutes, but it's annoying and there's enemies everywhere. And it's very time-consuming, but you gotta backtrack back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
like four times and it's just a huge pain in the ass and so you're like you'll traverse through it and then you'll have to traverse back and then you'll traverse through it and then you'll have to traverse back and it's just like oh my god okay wasn't there a door up here or am I missing something I could have sworn there was a door up here. Has there really not been a door this whole time? I'm gonna feel like kind of an idiot if that was the case. Well, shit. All right. Well, hey, let's let's not waste time, shall we? We got the drop zone for a reason. Let's use it! Yay! Ha ah, ha ha. Ninja. Okay, so let's see if that door on the other side of the foyer is the root maze. I'm hoping at least one of those doors is, because if it's not, then I have no idea where to go. <sighs> Such is life, right? I feel like if I um can't hear myself talk, which I can't, I tend to ramble more like an idiot. I know that was the Maze of Roots. I'm just checking what this is. Great Chasm, which we don't have the key for. So, into the Maze of Roots it is. <gasps> Yay! Root Maze. Oh god, fucking doggo. That other one is a fucking pupper in comparison. Jesus fuck. Oh! Oh my god, it's like an elephant. Oh god, fuck me. Oh, I'm not even doing damage to it. Look at this shit. Holy fuck. Oh, it didn't even care. It was like, fuck you, bitch. Oh god. There's so many. Oh my god, no. Ah. Yeah, asshole. Enjoy going the long way. How many you fuckers are there? Be gentle. Gentle giant. Gentle giant. Gentle giant. Fuck. Please let this be the way I need to go. Shit. Okay, doggo. Did you see that one? God, dude, they want to kill me. Holy shit. And the sounds they make. They're gonna haunt my dreams forever. Oh my god. Please open. Fuck me. Oh my god. This is awful. Hey, you big bastard. Oh, god in hell. Jesus, that thing. And they're everywhere. Nope, 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 nope. Brass forest? No, this is the nope forest. Similar. Similar thing. Except, you know. Worse, somehow. Wait, there's a thing. It looks like an elevator. It's... It's... A key to the tomb, which is that door back there. Huh! <laughs> Fucking god. Ow. Okay, no, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. I said we're cool. Okay. Can you just... Uh. 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 Okay. God damn these fucking things. Ugh. Oh god, I'm gonna have nightmares about this shit. Oh, no fucking thanks. No, thanks. Fuck you. Jesus, fuck. Oh my god. What? Dog out! Oh god. 
Oh, 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 God. Doggos. Yeah. Did I win? Did I win? What is that? Dude, no. Dude, no. Oh, uh, do you see the giant tomb that I see? Fuck's sake. Govari's Unwinder. Fuck yeah. Right, where's the exit? Because I do not want to go back through there. No fucking thank you. Do I have to use it like right here? I would have thought for sure that there would be a place to use it. Let's take a look at it though. Govari's Unwinder. Unwind Fabricant mechanisms instantly killing fabric and undead weakening un invincible undead and setting off green switches <sighs> okay well let's put that on seven looks like our 200 days are back boys let's go kill some big doggos you like me now you fuckers don't stand a chance now Hoo yeah boy oh fuck yes I'm so cool now mm. Mm. yeah yeah line up boys it's eating time fuck you and fuck you too I have never felt stronger than I do right now. That wasn't so bad. They introduced the threat and then they immediately made it killable. That's the kind of progression I like. No more wandering and trying not to get killed and shit. And then getting lost. Um, did we get a key? Oh no, we gotta go back and do the unwinder. And we can kill the fucking fabricant undeads whenever the fuck we want now, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, I'm liking this a lot more than the boiling foundry. Uh, a lot less parkour involved. Not that there's anything wrong with parkour, I just think you need a healthy amount. This is mostly like... Mazes. Into the winding column. Winding column, sorry. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! The Great Chasm Key. I like it. I'm not looking forward to the boss. If he's anything like the last one, I am beyond fucked. So, yeah. I guess we'll just play it by ear, won't we? Flip the switch, wait your turn. Flip the switch, wait your turn. A lot of waiting. I'm not too bothered by it though. I like the progression in this dungeon. The other one was a bit confusing and big. Um, but I'm liking this one a lot more. I think the Brass Forest is fun on the butt. Is this the Great Chasm over here? Yes. Although, if... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Holy wow. Okay. Kind of cool, I guess. Okay, so those things are Fabricant Undead. Is 
What did that just do? Yeah, okay, so if those are fabric and undead, why don't they look like people? Why are they so fucking terrifying? Okay, looks like there should be a thing there, but there's not. There's nothing up there. Okay. What, can I get back up here? Wait, yes I can. There we go. <clears throat> because I'm a parkour master now, thanks to the boiling foundry. Oh god, okay. That branch was transparent. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay. Now, let me guess. There's a switch over here that I get to hit now. Right. Right. Have I played enough Zelda games to know where this is going? Ha ha! Well, I knew where the switch was going, but I don't know where this is going. I don't know what um, we're trying to accomplish by hitting all these damn things. Wh oh! <gasps> the aging burial key. Which door was that? I think that would be the center one, right? So, uh, there's a fun little great chasm there. Let's just head on this away. Backtracking time. Whoop. Yep. Yep. Uh. Huh. Can I? Okay. Into the foyer. The foyer. The foyer. Sorry, it's like, you know, they say foyer, but it's like, oh, it's the foyer. And then I think that just sounds like, foyer, you know? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But let's go into the aging burial and try not to get totally fucked. Well, this is a boss fight if I've ever seen one. All right, quick save time. Oh my god, okay, well. This guy needs some fucking backup. Hey, fuck you! Alright. So he's based off a of centurion, is he? Um, wait. No, I, I, I don't. Oh, he just keeps spawning the fuckers. God damn it. Now. Hey, fuck you. Ah. Oh, God. Nope. Shit. 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 Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. What is this? No, stop bringing them back to life. I don't need that poison. I'm not about all that. Oh my god in hell. Jesus, fuck. Go away. You fucking gross. Oh, fucking god. Okay. Ugh. Oh, 
I'll just give you a second to hang out. It's fine. Defend my will. term when someone is not sleeping yes awake oh god it's you again <sighs> what the fuck happened dude as i understand lord fear you fought valiantly against a powerful unwound okay the fight collapsed the cavern in but by then you were too exhausted to escape he and his compatriot found you and brought you back here oh who's lord fire yes that would be me oh Hello. i'm afraid the lord title is a bit much I haven't sat on the Telvanni Council for years, but the Fabricants uh. have always enjoyed the honorifics. But please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Devaith Fjord, an old friend of Sothasil. My friend here is Yagram Begon. Do you need a lozenge? He doesn't look like a dwarf. Is he a dwarf? I have not been a dwarf for quite a time. Before that, I was not a dwarf, you know. So no, I am not a dwarf. Were you a dwarf? A dwarf. Oh. I have not been a dwarf. Okay. However, I am a dreamer. The last living dreamer. Um What? Yeah, sure. Weren't you a bloated monster? I see you know your history. It's good to see they still teach children about me. Right. I see you know your... Yep. No, Dovahkiin. Yagram's unfortunate appearance back in the Third Era was due to the disease known as Corporus. Right. With the demise of Dagoth Ur, the disease receded enough to the point where I could restore Yagram to what he once was. Uh-huh, sure. Um, so what are you doing here and in the catacombs? Actually, I've been wondering that too, Lord Fear. I do not mean to accuse. What were you doing down there? You don't think you're the only ones with a stake in all this, do you? Uh... The Clockwork City was as much a product of my drunken tirades as it was all the Hills. Perhaps not my home, but I have as much of a duty to protect it as you do. Why is he looking at me? Then please, Lord Fear. Do you have any idea what would cause the catacombs to assault us? We've done nothing out of the ordinary. Except try to get to the thing. That's actually precisely <laughs> what we're investigating, but we're mostly unsure. Uh. We have scenario placing analysis code. This archaic house also still built his machines. But it is easy to recognize tampering on high active focuses. Sure. Why uh, not? Lord Fear, can you perhaps translate what Lord Vagarn said? He said that someone has been sabotaging your little dig. Oh, well. Okay, well, cool, I did it, right? I'm busy, but that doesn't mean much to you, does it? What an asshole. God damn. Um. So, um, who's the saboteur? Neither me nor Yagrim have figured that out yet. I would watch your back, though. Okay. As funny and quirky as fabricants might seem, they are the children of Sothasil, and a rogue fabricant can put up a fight. Okay. I've got a sword for it. Oh, and we have a Thalmor problem, too. Indeed. Well, my warning remains the same, then. Watch your back. I'll try. Oh, no. I am I am I interrupting you now, Dick? For centuries what? The Sorry, what? What? No, it doesn't mean much to me when I interrupt you, asshole. 
You seem pretty calm, I guess. I have a delayed reaction to these things, remember? Fear's arrival and the existence of the saboteur may complicate things. Right. I've got a plan for said complications. Well, good. Is it to give me... What do you What do you want? Currently, no. In the future, maybe. You mean Fear you're just going to interrupt me again? Protection and allow us to complete the dig. And once at the stone, he will no doubt be instrumental in defeating Archeron. Hopefully. So I'm basically just done. Of course not. We still need dumb muscle, and you Asshole. put yourself in that matter already. What a dick! It's just that with the undead dealt with, things will be running smoothly enough. I'll contact you once we reach the cave. Oh, the undead aren't attacking? Hmm. You're welcome, fucking douche. Jesus, fuck. <sighs> that guy just irks me, man. I mean, what an asshole. Are you nice to me now? Touch anything and I take you apart. God, they're all dicks. Like, what did I do? Fucking racist, man. Hey! Like the Hork boss? See, Avari? He does good work. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just be on my merry way then. God damn. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I've been two or four. And I will catch you guys all where? <gasps> On the flippity flop side. That's right. Okay, well, see you guys. Until then, just remember to be nice to each other, all right? All right, bye.